Hi everyone, Greg here. Well, today I'm excited because I'm making a delicious little snack. It's one that you can have for breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, whenever. It's a French toast, but it's made a little bit differently. So this is all I'm using today. Just some bread, an egg, ham, cheese, and tomato. I'll also be adding in some milk as well. I've also got some garlic powder here, which I'm going to use because I love the flavor of garlic. And, oh no, this is stuck to the bottom. If your garlic's ever stuck in this powdered form, all you need to do is like, bang it like this. Sounds like me on a Saturday night, if I ever get that lucky. Oh, oh, I nearly forgot one thing. Some butter. Anyway, let's go and turn on this frying pan and we'll put it on a medium sort of heat. Now I'm gonna try something a little bit different today. So let's just grab some butter, put some in a bowl. And I'm just gonna nuke this for like, oh gee, 20 seconds maybe. That should be enough, shouldn't it? And while that's doing its thing, how about we grab our nice juicy red tomato. Mm, yum. Do you know these are really good for you? You should always eat a tomato every day. Now tomatoes are really good for your prostate. Now your prostate, do you know what that's for? If you do, let me know down below, because I've got no idea. But apparently it's very important. So let's just slice a nice few bits of tomato, nice and thinly. And the butter should be melted by now. Well, Sammy, that'll do. Now that butter didn't get too hot. It's actually still coolish, yet melted. How's that for science? So into here, we'll just crack one egg. Ugh. Now let's add some milk into here. Just about a, a dash, about a quarter of a cup's worth. And we'll mix that together. Oh, wait, I nearly forgot the garlic powder. So let's add a little bit of that in. Now let's mix it around. Ooh, yum. Oh boy, that's garlicky. Now let's grab our two bits of bread and we need to just soak these in the mix here. Try and get it to soak up all that egg, like a sponge. And that's all the preparation done for the French toast part. So now over to the frying pan. Let's see if this is warmed up yet. Oh, you French toast! That's hot, but not too warm, which is what we wanted. So how about now we'll throw these bits of French toast in, start those cooking. And while that's cooking on the one side, we just need to get this ham out. How do you even open these? My hands are so slippery from the egg. I can't even, oh. Mm -mm. Arr, I'm a pork pirate. So what we want to do is just cook these on one side. You don't have to cook them for too long. Oh no, they've stuck together. Oh dear. Oh, here we go. And we'll turn that over. Ooh, yum, look how light and fluffy that looks. Turn them both over. And now it's time to quickly start making this sandwich. We don't want to leave it too long because we don't want that French toast to start burning. So, onto here, we'll add some cheese, some tomato, and our few slices of ham. And now we put this cooked side on like that. And now basically we just need to cook this until the cheese is nicely melted inside. Oh, it smells so good, doesn't it? So we'll just keep flipping it over, making sure that it's not burning on the other side. Let's just do a quick flip. Oh, oh yeah, yum. So we'll just slowly cook this until that cheese is melted. And once it's done, it'll be ready. And you know what time it is when it's ready. It'll be, It'll time, be time for the taste test. Yeah, cook my friend, cook. Yummo. Let's just see how it's going. Oh, look at that color. Yum. So a few minutes on each side should do the trick. Well, it's making a nice sizzling sound, so I reckon that's ready. Let's just double check. Oh, yeah. Let's see if that cheese smells. Yes, it has. Sweet. All right, well, let's take this off and Cut it open and have a look inside. All right, let's cut this in half. Oh, 
Oh yeah, how good does that look? Oh man. Oh, that smells unbelievable. Can't wait to taste it, so let's go. Mmm. That bread is so light and fluffy, and with the garlic in there, it just takes it to the next level. The ham and the cheese add some saltiness to it as well. The tomato makes it juicy. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Wow. Mm. That really is delicious. So delicious, I know it's something that you have just got to make. And if you do make it, I'd love to know. So let me know down below. Click hello. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for the best recipes on YouTube right here on Greg's Kitchen. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the ham, cheese and tomato French toast are made for you today. Just look at that thing, it tastes awesome and it's delicious. So ooh, ooh yeah. Arr.